Welcome to this presentation on engaging students in standard-based grading. All right, so introduction. So a couple of pointers when you're doing your introduction is purpose. What is the purpose of standard-based grading for you, and why did you implement it as opposed to doing a traditional mode of grading? For me, it's that I want students to be, to be able to show with their grade, the grade at the end of the course shows that what they knew by the end of the course. It's not something that showed what they did in exam one and how it averaged with exam two and averaged with exam three and then the final. But it's something that is a, it, an appropriate, as best I can in, in the tools and the experience that I have so far, to show that what the students know by the end of the class. Because that's what they then, as much as possible, take with them. Now obviously there's some loss in what they remember, but at least the exposure to the material by what they have by the end of the class. And I try to emphasize that. Secondly, uh, how will the scoring work in when they see when I, when I do this scoring, the standard-based scoring? And then how will that translate to a percentage-based scale? So that what's their, what are they familiar with from the past? From this, you know, if, if I get an 80%, I have a B minus. If I get an 85, a B, um, 93, it's well, it's right on the edge. Is that an A or A minus? Um, so take what does your scoring look like and how will that translate to a percentage point? And so let me show you how I've done that, or how, how I did that in my class. So when I present uh, the scoring to students, this is what I, I, I'll show them. So there's different levels they'll be at. So the highest one is mastery. Uh, satisfactory is what I would say for a student graduating from my program is what I want them to be at at least. Um, so that's, that's where that's where these terminology, and that's why I picked this terminology, developing. They're getting there, they're getting to be satisfactory, getting to be a point where they can uh, they're they're at a point where I want them to be at this for this standard to graduate uh, beginning they're just starting out know some basic vocab and uh, if there really isn't anything that I've seen that shows them that they got anything on this concept then I will give them uh, a score for no evidence um, so the scale numbers I'm a zero to four scale so for no evidence that's zero I, I see nothing uh, beginning I'll see uh, a given one developing is a two Satisfactory is a three, and mastery is a four. Um, so those are the basic scale numbers there. And this is what students will see on, on quizzes and exams. We'll see these numbers coming out. Uh, on the percentage side, uh, satisfactory, I'm saying that's going to be a solid B. That's an 85. Uh, for mastery, that's 100%. You really got it. I'll uh, give you a full 100%. And sometimes I'll go in between these scores over here. So you see a four and you see a three. I'll actually go, I'll go 3.5 sometimes. Uh, in here, um, if you know it, they they show me they really got it pretty much, but then there's enough wrong with them. Like yeah, I'm not, I can't give you 100 percent on that. I'm just gonna take a half point off, so it puts them, it'll put them in between the 185. Uh, going to developing, I'll say that's a that's a low C minus right there between a C minus and a D. Uh, beginning, it's another 15 percentage points. So that's 55. And really, if no evidence, it's all the way down to a zero. So I really try to avoid the no evidence piece, uh, giving zero percentage for that because that's a really big hit. Uh, but if I don't see it, I just don't see it. And so it's, they, they know that could be coming. Um, so, yeah, so what I, I, I like about this because it, it's, as if I give the students the explanation of what satisfactory means and why I'm giving a three and an five, um, I think they appreciate that. It's also helped me with grading. Um, really, instead of taking a point off here, a point off there, I'm just like, you know, what do I see here? Do I see mastery in what you've done? Or, you know, maybe it's just a little bit off there, 3.5. Are you satisfactory? Are you at a point where I would feel happy graduating you and saying, you know what, you, you know what you know. You know enough on this standard that I'm confident for you moving forward uh, versus developing versus beginning. And so I, I like these levels now. I do pretty much all my grading on quizzes and exam using these. And um, I help the students understand the transition from a four to um, percentage base. So obviously that one's pretty easy. But then, you know, for a three to 85%, if it's a 10 point problem, I'm gonna multiply that 10 points times 85% and they get an 8.5 for that problem. Um, and uh, so I'll have to give them that transition. But typically all they'll see uh, for the final score, if it involves a couple different problems, will be percentage uh, values for the grade. And I'll help them with the transition sometimes they're able to check me on that, and they do, and they've, they've done that, and it's, been, it's turned out really well. But what's really nice about these levels is when you can talk about these things, and students come into your office and they say, hey, how can I get better at that? You know, I got a two on it, and I'm developing. 
I'd like to do better. It's like, well, okay, let's talk about that. Where are we at here? Um, and so the conversation gets a lot more focused as opposed to, hey, I got an 85%. How can I move up? It's like, well, <laughs> um, let's look at, first of all, the concept and where you are at the concept level. So let's move over here and have the conversation in here as opposed to have the conversation about uh, numerical values. All right, so I hope that's helpful.